let us discuss about joint variation. What is joint variation? It is a type of variation in which one variable varies directly to the product of two or more variables. Y equals KXZ, it is read as Y varies directly as X and Z, or it is also read as Y varies jointly as X and Z. The value of K, that is the constant of variation. So as you can see, we have two variables. So it must be the product of two or more variables that becomes joint variation. Let us translate into equation of variation. In example number one, m varies jointly as p and q. So it means m, it is equal to k times p times q. How about number two? x varies jointly as b and w. So x is equal to k times b times w. How about number three? The area of the parallelogram p varies jointly as its base b and altitude A. So P, it is equal to K, B, and then A. How about number four? V varies jointly as Y and the square of W. The square of W, that is W squared. So it means V, it is equal to K, Y, W squared. How about number five? y varies directly as the square of x so a square of x is x square and the cube of z that is z cube so it means the equation of variation that is y equals k times x squared and then z cube let us determine if the given illustrates joint variation or not joint variation in example number one amount of interest i is equal to p times r times t joint or not joint variation so this one is joint variation how about letter b volume of a box v it is equal to l times w times h again this example is a joint variation how about letter c acceleration of a car a is equal to s over t. So we have inverse, so this one is not joint variation. Let us solve now for example number one. A varies jointly as x and y. So the equation A, it is equal to k times x times y. Afterwards, let us proceed to the next. If A is equal to 100 when X is equal to 5 and Y equals 4. So let us replace A, that is 100. We have no value of K. X, that is 5. And then Y equals 4. Before we proceed to identify, find A. So let us solve. 100 is equal to 5 times 4, that is 20K. And then let us divide both sides by 20. So 100 divided by 20, that is 5, equals cancel. So 5 equals k, or k, that is equal to 5. So we have now the value of k. So let us proceed to solve for find a when x is equal to 6 and y equals 3. So find a, the value of k is 5, x is 6, y that is equal to 3. Afterwards, let us multiply. So a that is equal to 90. 5 times 6 is 30 times 3 that is equal to 90. So the value of a equals 90. How about example number 2? x varies jointly as u and v. So it means x is equal to k times u times v. So the value of x is equal to 18. Let us replace. We have no value of k. u, that is 3. b, that is equal to positive 2. So bring down 18 
and then 3 times 2, that is 6k, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of k that is equal to 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 6 divided by 6, that is 1k. So 3 is equal to k or it also equal to k equals 3. Afterwards, find v when x is equal to 12 and u equals 4. So let us find v. And then let us replace x, that is 12, k, that is equal to positive 3, and then u, that is equal to 4, and then we need to identify the value of v. 12 bring down, 3 times 4 is 12v, and then let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of v, that is 12. So 12 divided by 12 is 1, and then cancel v. So 1 equals v, or v, that is equal to 1. So the value of v equals 1. How about number 3? The variable x varies jointly as m and then p. So it means x is equal to k, m, p. If the constant of variation is 5 over 3, we have now the value of k that is 5 over 3. What is m when x is equal to 96 and p equals 12? So let us replace. k is 5 over 3. First, we need to identify the value of x that is 96 and then k, that is 5 over 3, and then m is unknown, p, that is equal to 12. So afterwards, let us solve now. So to be able to solve this one, so this become bring down 96, and then 12 divided by 3 cancel, that becomes positive 4. 5 times 4, that is 20m. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with 20. So cancel 20. So 96 over 20, that is equal to 24 over 5. So 96 over 20, that is 24 over 5 equals m, or m is equal to 24 over 5. How to get 24 over 5? By means of getting the lowest term of 96 over 20. And the lowest term of 96 over 20, if we divide the numerator and denominator by 4, that is 24 over 5. Five. An example number three, kinetic energy varies jointly as the mass and the square of the velocity. A mass of 8 grams and a velocity of 5 centimeters per second has a kinetic energy of 100 ERGS. ERGS, that is the unit of energy or work in centimeter gram per second. Find the kinetic energy for a mass of 6 grams and a velocity of 9 centimeters per second. First, we need to identify the equation. So the kinetic energy, so let us write letter E. So energy as the first letter is equal to K. So para hindi mo doble yung K natin. And then varies jointly as the mass. First letter of the mass is M, so write M. And then the square of velocity. First letter of velocity is V, so V square. A mass of 8 grams and a velocity of 5 centimeters per second has a kinetic energy of 100 ERGS. So energy or the kinetic energy that is equal to 100. We have no value of K. And then the mass that is 8 grams, let us write 8. The velocity of 5 centimeters per second, so that becomes 5, and then square. So bring down 100, and then bring down 8. 5 times 5, that is equal to 25. So bring down 100. 8 times 25, that is equal to 200 k. If we divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of k, that is 200. So 100 divided by 200, that is 1 half, cancel. So, 1 half is equal to k, or k, it is equal to 1 half. Afterwards, let us continue to solve. Find the kinetic energy for a mass of 6 grams and a velocity of 9 centimeters per second. So, we need to identify the kinetic energy. So, we have now the value of the constant of variation that is 1 half. So, write 1 half. The mass now is 6 grams. So, 6 grams. The velocity of 9 centimeters per second. 
So, 9, bring down 1 half, bring down 6. Or 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. So, that could be the lowest term of 6 times 1 is 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. 9 times 9, that is equal to 81. So, 3 times 81, that is equal to 243 ERGS. So, 243 cent centimeters grams per second. In example number 5, the kinetic energy of a moving object varies jointly as its weight, W, and the square of the velocity, V. First, we need to identify the letters of the kinetic energy. So, let us try E. So, E, it is equal to KW and then the square of the velocity, that is V squared. So, E is equal to KW V squared. An object weighing 32 pounds and moving with a velocity of 60 feet per second has kinetic energy of 1,800 feet per pound. So, the kinetic energy, let us write in the equation, 1,800 is equal to K. K is unknown. And then the weight, that is 32 pounds. Let us write 32. And then the velocity, that is 60 feet. So, 60. And then square. And then bring down 1,800. Bring down 32 and K. 60 times 60, that is 3,600. So, bring down 1,800. And then 32 times 3,600, that is 115,200 and then K. If we divide both sides with 115,200, so cancel, so that's, this become K. And then if we cancel both zero, two zeros in the numerator, two zeros in the denominator, 18 over 1,152, the lowest term is 1 over 64. 18 divided by 18 is 1. 1,152 divided by 18, that is 64. 1 over 64 is equal to k, or k is equal to 1 over 64. Let us continue to solve. Find the kinetic energy of an object weighing 96 pounds and traveling at a speed of 20 feet per second. So, kinetic energy, that is E. We have the value of k, that is 1 over 64. Weight, that is 96 pounds, so 96. And then V, that is 20. So afterwards, let us get the lowest term. 96 over 64, that is 3 over 2. Because 96 divided by 32 is 3. 64 divided by 32, that is equal to 2. And then 20 times 20, that is equal to 400. So let us solve now for the kinetic energy. 400 times 3 is 1,200 divided by 2. So that is equal to... Um, 600. Or, we may cancel 400 divided by 2 is 200 times 3. That is 600 feet per pound. So, the value of the kinetic energy of an object, that is 600 feet per pound. Instruction. Solve the following problems involving joint variation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.